Welcome back to Courtside on the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Michael Brown alongside my partner, Joe Thompson. We're just moments away from the opening tip, so let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the visitors, the Germantown Griffins. Well, Michael, if you look at Tyrone Roach, he's a quality point guard. He plays fast and makes really smart decisions. He leads the team in scoring and field goal percentage. He played last year for Coach uh, Xavier Joyner. He's also an aggressive defender and a good rebounder from the guard position. Nick Sefcik is a three-point bomber, ranking in Maryland Juco's top 10, 44.4%. He's also aggressive going inside, and you don't want to foul him because he's in the top 10 in Maryland Juco and free throw percentage at 81.1%. And Brandon Sims, he's five foot four, but he's really quick. He's a great leaper, an aggressive defender. He can really put, cause problems with his penetration for into Rockville's defense. And the Griffins are coached by Xavier Joyner. He's in his fourth year. He's assisted by Jimmy Watkins and Aaron Wilmore. And now let's take a look at the starters for Montgomery College Rockville. First. And foremost is Dante Nicholas. He's a great all-around talent at the JUCO level. He can do it all, leading the team and scoring at 15 points a game. He's in the top 10 in the Maryland JUCO and rebounding, assists, and field goal percentage. He'll most likely make the jump to a four-year school as a sophomore. Bilal Besa is recovering from knee injury, but he's a real leader on this team. He's a good penetrator. He passes well. He's another one you don't want to foul. Ranked in the top five in Maryland JUCO in free throw percentage, 84.6%. Randall Scott is a sophomore captain for Rockville. He brings leadership and a physical presence to this team. He rebounds well. He's a good post defender and is a reliable scorer in the paint. The Rockville team is inexperienced. He only has two sophomores, but it's taller than it was in the years past. Rockville's head coach is Steve Hobson. He's in his 26th year with Montgomery College, his last 16 with Rockville. He's assisted by his longtime assistant, Quinnen Blackman, who nobody calls Quinnen. He's junior to everybody. He's assisted by Junior Blackman and Jamal Schools, who once played for Hobson just a few years ago. Our three officials are Ike Relisian, Charles Waugh and Willie Jones and Joe, we are just about ready for the tip off. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Yeah, I guess I hope everybody at home is buckled in tight because this is going to be a bumpy ride here. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be 94 feet for 40 straight minutes. It'll be a little loosey goosey with the ball sometimes, and there's the tip goes right out of bounds. Now you can see how much adrenaline is in these two teams. Right off the tip, they tipped it into the second row. <laughs> they are ready to play. So, Rockville with possession. There's Beza. He'll be the point guard at the moment to Nicholas. That's Dante Nicholas. And Ger Germantown's really aggressive with their trapping defense. Very aggressive. Beza, and there's a turnover. Tried to get it to Tyshawn Reed. And Germantown's pressure defense, they're trapped, and they're running at the ball. They basically do something he really doesn't want to do. He, go, he left his feet to make a pass, and when someone got in the passing lane, he had nowhere to go with it. Both teams coming out with a lot of energy on de defense. Sefcek loses control. Reed up the court. Nicholas. To Scott, good. First hoop of the game. That was great transition. Nicholas, you, you get a nice little lob ahead to Scott. Scott lays it in. Ball never touched the floor. And uh, Sims will go to the line. There's Nicholas. And that was a, not an easy shot for Randall Scott because he was already sort of under the backboard there. Yeah, that's, that's one of those things where you really have to know where you are on the court, have good court awareness, and he really did right there to be able to gather himself and make that layup. Yeah, good body control there. Sims misses the free throw. Sims is one of those guys who, who he's, he's small, but he's so quick, and he's very powerfully built that, that he can get in with the, with the tall trees and still get a shot off. Five foot four. And that might be exaggerating it just a bit. He hits the second of two. Ger Germantown's in a 1-2-2, two, two, three-quarter court zone press. Which they will run probably 30 minutes out of the game. And they get the they steal. The turnover. There's Roach, throws it up, and it goes in. Uh, that, that was amazing. He, he made that shot over six foot five John Kelly. He probably got fouled on that and didn't get called. But he's tough enough to make that shot. So we're off to the fast pace we predicted. There's Reed. No good. Great rebound by Kelly. Just grabbed it right out of Dudley's hands. 
Baza misses the jumper, gets his own rebound. Off the read. No good. Another rebound in there by Nicholas. He, no score. Rockville's not doing a great job at, at uh, making their shots, but they are sure getting lots of second shots. Oh, my goodness. This is uh, a lot of action out here. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit... It's a little bit like a, a rugby scrum, the way they are rebounding down there. You can see they're just tapping it around, and Rockville just keeps winning the rebounds. A lot of energy, a lot of desire. For those of you who thought we were hyping the intensity of this game, I think maybe you now see what we were talking about. These two teams won it. There's a steal by Carlson. He gives it off to Sims, who has his shot blocked. Randall Scott came in from behind. He swatted that away. It might have been, you know, if, if, the, if the refs were a little bit more liberal with the whistle, they might have been able to call him with the body on that, but that looks like they're letting him play. Carlson strong to the basket. Kelly loses the handle. And they give it over to Rockville. They say Sefcheck not uh, uh, touched it last. Now they go full court with their press. Uh, they, now they, they back they, off a little. They're giving it a full court look, but they're not really pressing right. until they get up near the half court line. Now comes the trap. Yep, there's a trap right there. And Nicholas they, works out of it. Nice pass down low. Mm -hmm. And Randall Scott really made a hard shot of an easy shot. Tyshawn Reed bailed him out on that one. Tyshawn Reed in the right place at the right time. Four to three, Knights. Wild opening, couple of minutes here. There's Sefcek, he's the three-point threat. There's Sims, another three-point threat. Three seconds, that's a turnover. It's either, it's either Carlson or Dudley who got called for three seconds, camping out in the lane too long. You only get three seconds in there. And referees will usually give you a couple more. They'll give you five. They're, they're, they're really lenient with that, but if you stay in there too long, you will get called. Nicholas now at the point. Six foot five point guard for this level is unheard of. And he's being guarded by Carlson, who's mostly a post defender, but because of Nicholas's size, you need a big guy to guard him. Three pointer for Rebeza. Best three point shooter on this team. That's his first three of the game. Roach misses. That's a really Nicholas. bad shot. A really bad shot selection right there. He, he's a better player than that. Nice pass out to the corner. Beza, no good. Carlson with the rebound. And Robert Pettis getting ready to check in for Germantown along with Desmond Wade, number 24. They're both sitting at the scorer's table waiting to come in. Three-pointer off the mark. Germantown a little bit cold here in the early going. Although Sims is a good shooter, that's a little bit out of his range. Beza. Another three-second call in the lane. I think that was on Randall Scott that time. And I think he was expecting a shot to go up and, and got in rebounding position. Seth check out. And Beza firing up from three-point land on the, in the corner. He can hit that shot. 